Hey everyone, can you guys all hear me here? I want to make sure I'm not too loud, but that you can also hear me as well. Hope you guys are having a great day. I'm. Uh, we're just about to get started on our live webinar today, and I'm super excited that a lot of you guys are joining in right now. Looks like we've got hundreds of you guys. I'm assuming from all around the world, which is always exciting. So we're going to be waiting maybe about for 30 more seconds, and we're going to get started right away because I don't want to keep you guys waiting, and I know how important your guys' time is. So thank you guys so much for taking that busy time out of your day. I promise you the webinar presentation that we're going to have today, we put on hundreds of these over the past year, and it's been one of our most popular presentations on how to learn a language, how to shortcut the pathway to properly learn a language. And I know this is one that you're not going to want to miss out. So I want to be starting as soon as possible. And while you guys have the time, while you guys are at the office, grab a cup of coffee, grab a cup of Joe, sit down, make your make yourself relax, take off, you know, turn off any phones or anything that may distract you because this presentation is going to be slightly different than what you've probably been to because this one is really going to be all about interaction. You know, I'm here with you live here today and I want this to be a conversation between us two. I want this to be an interaction where I'm going to be asking you some questions throughout the process of this webinar and I'm also going to be uh, asking you to have this conversation with us and if you see in the comment box below you'll see there's a Facebook comment box with all of these amazing comments from different people and I'm gonna want I'm gonna ask you guys to leave a comment here in the comment box below where you can see all of these different people that have already commented before and I want this to be a conversation and I'll, and I'll try to reply to the comments below as well just so that I can get an understanding of where you guys are at and this way this will be a much more interactive experience in total all right so I'm gonna get started thank you guys so much for again making the time to come on this live webinar presentation. There's probably so many things that I know you guys could have been doing at this hour right now, but for you guys to make the time and to spend this time with us, uh, we really don't take this for granted, and I want to make this the, um, the highlight of your day. Maybe you've been trying to learn a language for the past year. Maybe this is something that where you've tried in high school, you know, we've all seen the forgotten high school or university Spanish that we've once learned that, you know, God, we never really paid attention to, unfortunately. And I've certainly been there myself where, you know, now we're looking back and saying, darn it, you know, why don't we just pay attention while we're in university or while we were in college and we wouldn't be facing this problem of wanting to learn a language. But I think it's a beautiful thing. I think the fact that we're living in this multicultural world where we're really entering this new generation of people that, you know, we're surrounded by are coming from all of these different cultures, whether you are from South America, whether you're from Asia, Europe, whether you're from North America, you know, we live in such an abundant, diverse world. And I think this is uh, a real exciting opportunity for us to communicate with each other while we still have this opportunity. So I'm going to take this time to go over the agenda for today. And we've got an exciting agenda here because there's going to be a lot of things that is very specific, you'll notice. You know, well, we're going to talk about how to get exactly what you want in setting your goals and being able to achieve them. We're going to talk about how to find time in your schedule to learn anything, which is probably maybe one of the biggest barriers for a lot of us that are trying to learn something new but 
just cannot find that time to. We're going to talk about how you can learn 92.7% of the language in 66 days. I know that's a super specific number, but I'm going to explain to you uh, the, the, the method behind it because this is all science backed and that's the reason why it's such a specific number and you'll see when we get to the presentation about what we mean by learning 92.7% of the language in just 66 days. Uh, we're going to talk about how you can hack grammar and we're going to simplify grammar for you to make this easy uh, in, rather than this complicated mass of memorization. We're going to talk about how to remember 90% of everything you learn and then what Kobe Bryant and Bill Clinton have in common. It's probably not what you expect. And then last but not least, we are indeed giving away a free bonus gift that's going to be just limited for today, guys. For So for those of you guys that are listening in right now, you guys have an opportunity to claim this free bonus gift, which is going to be limited to just today. So I'm super glad that you guys are here and I encourage you guys to stay until the end in order to get your free bonus. So I know for a lot of us, this is our first time meeting and I want to take a super short amount of time to explain a little bit about who we are at RIPE, what our mission is, and this way we can actually start moving forward with the presentation. So RIPE is in simple form Spanish coaching for busy people. We've crafted our entire platform in order to make it easy for people that are busy, people that are, you know, have their day-to-day -day jobs that don't have the time to spend learning a language in their regular working hours. And we wanted to find a way to use technology to integrate language learning into your lifestyle. And we've done this by allowing you to learn, number one, on the go, where you can learn on your phone as you're going for a walk, as you're going to walk in a park. The ability to learn at any time, and this is any time of the day, any day of the week, even on weekends and night times, and anywhere around the world. You could be in China, Canada, uh, in Australia, and you can meet with native speaking professionals around the world that can teach you a language, give you one-on-one -on -one attention, and take you to that next level in your language learning journey. And our mission is pretty lofty, but it's a simple one. It's one that we make our decision around every single day. And we always ask ourselves, before we make any big decision, whether it's a product decision, whether it's a marketing decision, whether it's a strategy decision, we always ask ourselves, is this going to get us closer to our end goal, which is empowering 100 people, 100 million people to learn any language from anyone, anywhere, anytime. And it's one that we've had established from day one. And it's a lofty one. And we're super excited. This is what really gets us fired up to wake up every single morning to serve our customers, to serve the people that we know are out there that haven't even heard about us yet. And we do think that the world would be a better place if all of us knew how to communicate in our own languages, which we really believe is the root foundation of all the problems that we see in the world. And because of this lofty mission, so far, we've helped thousands of students reach fluency in over 37 countries. And because of the success, we've been able to be seen on some of the top major media outlets out there, including Entrepreneur Magazine, Time Magazine, Huffington Post, Lifehack, which some of you guys may have uh, seen us over there. But now I want to flip over the table to you guys. I know we've spoke, spent some time. Now you guys have heard about what we do, our mission, and what we believe in. But let's talk about you. And I want to learn about your goals and your desires. You know, why are you here to learn a new language? You know, there's a reason why those of you guys that have decided to spend the time to uh, to take this hour out of your busy day, out of your precious time to learn a new language. And a lot of you guys, this is probably decisions that you have 
made for 2016. And you've probably told yourself, I'm going to learn a language. But let's talk about this foundation deep root of why it is, uh, why you're here today to really learn a new language. Well, the good news is that we've already done the research. We've already surveyed hundreds of students from around the world. And while everyone has their own different and different uh, needs and different desires of learning a language, we've realized that there are five main benefits, right? And they're all sci they're scientific backed. They are research backed. And these are the five top highlights. And maybe some of you guys can resonate with the benefits of learning a new language and understanding a foreign language that is spoken by hundreds and you know millions of people around the world. So number one, learning a foreign language helps improve your career. You know, I think we live in such an abundant, diverse world today where globalization is really taking over the world. Every second that we live, that we're breathing today, you know, by the end of this webinar, we're going to be a more globalized world than we have ever become. And this rate is increasing by the second. You know, business is done, entertainment from the media, the economy, everything is now becoming globalized. You know, we have partnerships with South America, with Mexico, with Europe. And we're now able to speak with people all around the world. We're able to find these top entertainers online around the world with social media boosting. And it's no question about it that whatever business, whatever industry that you're about to get into is going to involve some sort of international relations. And this is an amazing opportunity for those of you guys that can capture this opportunity early on to learn a new language because there have been proven benefits to not, I'm just not talking about the raw raw, but your actual earning. Now get this, Euro London, a top recruitment agency based out of the UK, says that a foreign language can add between 10 and 15% to your top earning wage. And this is a recruitment agency that has surveyed probably thousands of the top recruits around the world. And this is the conclusion that have, they have came to. And the simple reason is that, you know, when you're looking at a, a client or when you're looking at expanding your company, the abundance of people you're going to hire, the abundance of people that you're going to bring on to partner up with, are you going to choose someone that understands how to communicate with the person, that understands how to connect with that person? Or are you going to pick someone with maybe the same skill sets, but does not know how to communicate in that specific language where they don't have that ability to connect with someone, even if it's just a, a conversation. So there's no doubt about it with everything becoming more globalized that adding a foreign language can simply help you make more money. You know, one of our students, Sandy, who is the, uh, who's a real estate agent says that she's been able to increase her business's income by over 18% in the past six months because of her ability to target an Hispanic market that she's never been able to reach before. Now, learning a new language can also buff up your entire career. And by that, I mean, you simply become more marketable. Adding a foreign language is another skill set that you can add that you can bring to the table, whether you are going in as a partner, whether you are going in as uh, a client, whether you're going in as a new employee. And when you're more marketable as an individual, that really brings more opportunities in your life. And in the end, that gives you more freedom. You know, the British Chambers of Commerce study says that more than 60% of companies around the world who want to expand to other countries are unable to do so due to language barriers. Now, we talked about the fact that everything is becoming globalized by the second. So this study was done in 2013. So you can imagine the amount of companies that are now trying to expand to other countries that are unable to do so simply because they don't know or have someone that can speak the language. 
So being able to have this skill set, being able to communicate with people that are from different parts of the world is really just going to open up all of these doors that you didn't even know existed. You know, if you grew up learning just one language, maybe it's English, maybe it's uh, a different language, then we've really just been boxed in. You know, every, every job that we apply to, every opportunity that we see is really just limited to our own language. But if you can imagine learning a language like Spanish, where you have 500 million people around the world that live and, and speak and breathe the language, where you are now able to open up yourself to corporations, to all of these amazing opportunities that are around the world. So this is a huge, huge opportunity that's right in front of us. You know, Edson, who's a, a attorney, attorney, says that with over 30% of the U.S. population being Hispanic, he was able to leverage the Spanish he's learned to significantly expand his market in the past four months. Now, of course, improving your career isn't the only big benefit. There's a lot of health benefits, which is really what we are living for. You know, health is one of, should be one of our number one priorities in our lives. And when we're talking about language, this is specifically targeted to our mental health, which may even be more important than our physical health because our brain is the epicenter of everything that we do. You know, the American Academy of Neurology says that learning a second language can prevent or delay Alzheimer's and dementia by 4.5 years and now this is huge this is versus the most powerful drugs in the world which only delays the disease by six to twelve months a study done at the University of Edinburgh says that millions of people around the world acquire their second language later in life and the study shows that even people that are in their adulthood have benefited from the aging brain so if all of you if any of you guys are here telling yourself that I'm too old to learn a language, that I can't benefit from this opportunity, then think again, there are more people around the world that are learning a language uh, in their adulthood more than ever. And it's this misconception that we've really been embedded into our brain. And we're going to talk a little bit more about this as well. And of course, it's no surprise that the, uh, the genius himself is also polyglot and this is Sherlock Holmes of course although he is a fictional character <laughs> now some of you guys may have family members maybe some of you guys have friends or co-workers where they are from a different country around the world and you've been struggling to have that relationship to deepen that relationship and if this is where a place that you're coming at you know I totally understand I come from a Korean background where I've struggled coming to Canada to live here uh, from the age of uh, seven years old. And, and unfortunately, I've, I've been able to keep a lot of my language skills in Korean, but it hasn't been 100% there. And I've struggled with this my whole life, trying to find that deepening relationship with my mom, with my cousins, with my brother, where we just weren't able to connect fully at that level. And I'm at this point now where I've been able to pick up my Korean but before it was a huge struggle and I know some of you guys are here listening to this right now where you're sitting at the family dinner table and they're speaking a different language you don't completely understand them you know maybe it's a grandma or maybe it's uh, a mother who doesn't really speak English or doesn't really speak this language from a different part of the world and you're struggling to have that deepening connection with them uh, Tamara says that she's grown up with Spanish-speaking family members her whole life. And just like myself and maybe some of you guys that are feeling this, she's always felt this disconnection due to this language barrier. So you're definitely not alone when you're talking about this. And there's a huge benefit because you're now able to connect with someone fully. And of course, you have the opportunity to travel the world in a completely different way than you could have when you didn't know the language. You know, a lot of us that are living and traveling to a foreign country, and I've certainly do this, done this myself, you know, we really have only TripAdvisor or we really only have these major media outlets from journalists who've really just been paid to say a lot of these touristy stuff. 
And traveling the world can be such an incredible experience, but if we're limited to just the touristy activities, uh, it's, it's a really a limiting factor, although it's still an amazing experience. But what we realize is that when you can go there and speak the target language of the country you're traveling to, maybe it's Spain, maybe it's Colombia or Buenos Aires, um, you know, all, all these countries which I've lived in and had this amazing pleasure to, then you can look at this side of the world from their perspective. You can look at it from a first point of view and find this deepening connection with locals and as you build this relationship with them, there's so many opportunities that you would never have been able to found uh, when you were on the other side of the world, such as the hot spots that are there, so the local uh, places, local attractions that you never would have had access to as uh, a traveler. One of our students, Tony, who's an entrepreneur himself, uh, says that he travels a lot and He's been able to save over 20 hours a month working with one of our coaches because before his only resort was to go and travel and commute back and forth, go to Starbucks and meet his coaches, uh, meet his tutors. And it was a really inefficient process for him because he was a busy person. He was an entrepreneur that was trying to make his business work. And maybe a lot of you guys can relate to this right now as well. So ultimately, the, the, I think part of me, the, one of the best ways and benefits of learning a language is that you can increase your confidence. And you can't really say that a lot about many of the things that we learned today, but there's something about being able to speak a language where 99% of your friends are not able to speak. There's a certain alluring allure to that. Uh, and being able to have this power that you know that other people don't have or being able to connect with someone uh, that other people are not able to or that you can have a special connection with and really a language is known to be um, it's deceptifies as a difficult thing so when you get to this point where you can speak a whole new language and communicate with a whole new market of people that you never could have before then there is this amazing confidence that just exudes through you and it's no question that some of the most powerful leaders and celebrities around the world are able to speak a foreign language to, uh, to, to advance their careers, to have a deepening connection, and to become master communicators in their own craft. So I've spent some time talking about the five major benefits of learning a language. And I want to know from you, you know, what gets you the most excited? What gets you up on your chair, up in the morning and saying, gosh, yes, I really want to learn a language because of this specific reason. And everyone is going to have a different reason, but I want to know what your purpose is. So leave a comment below, you know, interact with us and leave a short comment, you know, just let us know what is the reason that gets you most excited to learn. Maybe it's connecting with a family member. Maybe you're in a transition in your career right now and the jobs that you want to look into involve traveling and it involves international business, international relations, being able to go out and meet people across the world and that's one of your reasons. Maybe it's to improve your mental health. Maybe you want to improve your mental agility. So thousands of reasons. I've listed the top five for you and I want to know from you uh, what the most exciting reason for you is. Now, a quick story right before we get into our presentation for today. And again, I thank you guys so much for being patient. And I want to share with you a quick story that really gives me the pleasure and the honor for being able to speak in front of you guys here today. You know, maybe some of you guys have also been experiencing this, but, you know, I, a few years ago, I traveled to Buenos Aires and I traveled to Peru, Colombia, and lived in all of these different parts around the world where I've had the opportunity to meet the locals and even get myself to that conversation level. And I was so fired up because I've, you know, I've never been able to communicate with a group of people before. And the reason why I named all of these benefits because I've personally been through all of these and the level of excitement that I got just being able to communicate with someone where even just a few months ago, I had no idea 
about them. And, you know, sometimes you have these preconceived judgments about people that you're not able to communicate with, you know, communication, whether it's marriage or problems in the world is one of the biggest barriers for us having these issues. And I'm not going to lie. I, you know, the, I had a completely different interaction and perspective and, and, and an experience than when I didn't know the language and I was so fired up. And of course, real life happened and I had to come back to Toronto, Canada, which is where I was living at the time. And I was still fired up. You know, I knew that I wasn't living in this amazing majestic place in South America, but I still wanted, I was still committed to learn the language and get myself to that mastery level. And, you know, I tried just about everything you can possibly imagine. I've tried reaching out to contacts of mine and that's one of the first things I did. I tried to reach out to people, uh, friends of mine who were Spanish speakers. And I said, okay, I'm gonna buy you guys coffee and I wanna spend some time talking with you. But probably some of you guys can already imagine the result is that this is a really uncomfortable experience. You know, a lot of these friends of mine were really just acquaintances. And even if they were really great friends, chances are that you're just gonna be fully more natural speaking the you know, natural language you guys have always spoke your whole lives, which is English. And there was, uh, it just wasn't that comfortable. We, we had very difficult times managing the schedules of each other. And even when we did meet, we always resorted back to English. There was nothing that really forced it. And I was at a slump. You know, I was so motivated to learn the language, but nothing was really enabling me to continue learning. And I was so scared that Moment by moment, I was losing the skill that I had because as you know it, you use it or you lose it. And I was at this point, so I wasn't really sure what to do. And probably like 99% of you guys reading, uh, listening to this right now, having tried some of these methods, you know, I went with the traditional approaches. You know, I've, I went to the bookstore and ordered this book on Amazon, it's called the Everything Learning Spanish book, and I still have it in my shelf today. And it was uh, it was basically a CD with a book, I, and I've tried Rosetta Stone, and I've tried free mobile apps that I've you know found on the App Store and iTunes, and the problem with all of these was that they were boring, they didn't provide any accountability, there was no real life interaction, it was extremely time consuming. And most importantly, it was ineffective. And after having spent hours and hours of time actually diving myself into one of these, I still didn't get the results that I wanted and I plateaued. And it wasn't until I stumbled upon this study that my friend showed me that really, things really blew up and the opportunity uh, really spoke to me. And I realized that and I was slightly frustrated because I spent so much time trying to find the right people, trying to find the right solution to learn and to master the language. But I realized that I had it completely wrong. And the study that my friend shared was one that was done by NTL Institute Organization. And they found after doing hundreds of studies with the human brain, they realized that humans remember 5% of what we learn when we have learned from a lecture, which is the typical classroom setting. And the reason why most of us probably don't remember anything that we learned in college or university, 10% of what we've learned from just reading books, 20% from online courses or apps, where it's really just a one-sided conversation. And then we have the other side of the spectrum where humans remember 90% of what they learn when used immediately through immersion. Now this completely blew my mind out of the water because I've realized that if you do the math here, learning through immediate immersion where you're able to speak with someone else, where you're able to actually immediately apply the things that we have learned is 18 times more effective than how 99% of us learn a language or in fact have been educated throughout our whole lives. You know, think about living in a, you know, I went to uh, McGill University where I was stuck in a 300 person lecture hall 
from listening to one teacher where he simply had a slide share up and he was reading through the slides. And it was one of the most mind-boggling things that I've ever experienced because I was just bored out of my mind. So think about how do we learn languages today more specifically. You know, as I mentioned, we learn it through these uh, classroom settings where we're surrounded by probably 25, 30, or even 50 other students around the hallway, and we're trying to learn it from just one teacher. You know, we've got these books, which is where we only remember 10% of everything that we've learned from books, or we've got these mobile apps that are, are out there that really where we're just click, clicking buttons here and there. So the fact is that 90% of us is still learning a language through classroom lectures, books, tapes, or software apps. And the result is 90% of everything learned is forgotten. That means money down the drain. That means your time, which is more important than money, is also being wasted. And it's really just being drained down the toilet. Now, Tim Ferriss, who's a best-selling author uh, and a polyglot himself, says that, why do most language classes simply not work? Now, Tim Ferriss speaks over six languages from conversation and written fluent, and he's tested over 20 languages, and he's, he's identified a solution where he can easily cut the time to fluency by 50 to 80%. And he said that the conversation can only be learned by doing, not taught. And that the real world is where mistakes are made, weaknesses are found, and fluency is achieved. So there's no question about it that immersion beats out classroom lectures, software apps, books or CDs, or any solution that is out there combined. Immer real life immersion will always beat that. And the best part is that the entire point of learning a language is to use it and learn through other humans. So doesn't it make sense to also learn the language from other humans as well? So before we get into the agenda for today, I wanna to tackle the five biggest obstacles that probably a lot of you guys have told yourself in one time or another. And this is something that I always tell myself. And this doesn't just apply to languages. This really applies to anything that we want to achieve. And the biggest obstacles that we really tell ourselves in our own minds is, I don't know what I want. I don't have the time. I don't know where to start. I don't have foreign friends that I can speak with. Or I don't have accountability. And after serving hundreds of students, that have been through this presentation and that have come through our doors at right, we've realized that these are indeed the five biggest obstacles that all of us face in one time or another. And a lot of you guys listening right now can probably at least relate to one of these that is going to be that big major uh, obstacle for you to learn a language. So in this talk, we're going to talk about, and we're actually going to give you solutions to each and every single one of these, you'll notice that all of these obstacles that we have shared with you, the five biggest obstacles that most people don't learn a language, we're gonna cover them. And we're gonna give you a solution for each one of these. And we're gonna run through these really quickly so that I can respect the time that you guys have today and so that we can get through all of the materials that we have set up for you. And if you guys want, Take the time out to right now get out a pen, get out a piece of paper, or also just take some notes, you know, write down on these Facebook comments. Uh, they said that, as I mentioned, 90% of everything we learn is through immediate immersion. So instead of just observing this and simply listening to this, we really want you guys to dig in and we want you guys to come participate with us because this is what's going to help you retain more information in your brain and this is what's going to help you get the results that you want in your life. So let's talk about number one. We're talking about getting exactly what you want. And in the core fundamental level, the base layer of the start of getting everything that we want is goal setting. You know, you can have the tallest tower in the world, but 
if you don't have a basic foundation that can support it, then it doesn't matter how high the tower gets, it's always going to be vulnerable in, 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 the, in the fact that it's falling. So goals is the same way. Goals help you focus on what you want. It helps you save a lot of time because you're not distracted and trying to chase the next lottery ticket. It helps you count up, stay accountable, motivated, and it helps you identify your end goal. And the questions that we ask ourselves is really going to lead the quality of our lives. The quality of the questions leads to the quality of our lives. And in this specific example, when we're talking about learning a language, it's really important that we ask ourselves the right question. You know, some of us get stuck on asking, how am I going to find the time to learn a language? Or how am I going to learn a language when throughout my whole life I was, you know, I had struggled learning a language? Or how am I going to, you know, learn a language when I'm, you know, 30 or 40 years old? But the right questions is, what are the benefits, right? We got to ask ourselves, what opportunities will become available to us by being able to speak this language fluently? You know, what would I do right now if I could speak this language fluently? How will I feel after reaching fluency? Are you going to feel more confident? Are you going to feel more empowered? Are you going to feel more uh, inspired to learn other languages in the future or learn a different skill and really letting this snowball effect happen for you in your life? And we have to remember that when we're setting goals, they have to follow these five guidelines. They have to be visually specific, uh, slightly out of reach because we don't want to set too comfortable goals, measurable in that we have to know what the results that we're getting. And this leads us to result oriented. And then last but not least, deadline. You know, there's a, there's a simple law where, and you've probably experienced this yourself, where you had this one small activity but you were in no particular rush to complete it, right? And where you were, you know, you you probably had three hours to complete the uh, to complete the task itself, and chances are you have taken as much time as you possibly can in order to complete that task because there was no outside or external or even internal force to have you complete that. And it turns out they've done studies on this. And they've named an entire law after this. It's called the Parkinson's Law. And the Parkinson's Law states that, that we do any activity we're able to complete in the time span that we give, in that if we give ourselves you know, the same exact task, if we give ourselves 10 minutes to complete one task versus three hours to complete that exact same task, we can complete that in 10 minutes. But if we give ourselves a timeline or deadline of three hours, then you can bet we're going to spend all those three hours completing that exact same task that could have been completed in 10 minutes. So goal setting is the exact same thing, guys. And I'm going to give you guys a bad goal, a good goal, and a great goal. So you guys can really see the progress and the difference between the way you should set goals for yourself. So a bad goal would be something general. It could be, I want to become fluent in Spanish so I can travel to Spain by next year. Of course, a good, uh, a bad goal is better than, uh, than no goal, but we want to at least become more specific. So good goal would be, I want to become conversation fluent in Spanish so I can travel to Spain by next summer. Now, a little better, it's a little bit more specific. You'll notice that we added next summer and conversation fluent into the equation. But then a great goal is I will have a 30-minute conversation in Spanish with a native-speaking person over coffee in a cafe in Madrid on July 2016. So notice how specific that exact sentence is, you know. Compared to the first two goals, you can see that the last goal that we have just shared is visually specific. We can close our eyes and we can actually see ourselves living in Madrid in a cafe. There's a, you know, leaves are falling, uh, or, or I guess it's in July. So there's a sun, there's parades happening around in the streets. And we're having this amazing conversation with a Spanish speaking person. You know, we can visually see that. And when you're 
putting in coffee and everything, you can actually start to smell the smell of coffee. And there's a specific deadline. It's July 2016, and everything is results oriented. So this is the way that you should be setting your goals in the future. So right down below, you know, the first challenge is write down your ultimate goal and write down the first five things you can do in the next 30 days to get closer to your goal. Now, I want to talk a little bit about scheduling now, you know, finding the time in your schedule to learn anything. And Stephen Covey has a great quote about this. And he says that the key is not to prioritize what's on your schedule, but to schedule your priorities. And that all of us have different priorities in our lives. But, you know, if you want to write a book, it means that you have to wake up each morning to write 500 words, no matter how bad the first draft is. If you want to double your sales, then it means reviewing your sales number every week and executing a new growth experiment. If you want to lose 10 pounds, it means running 30 minutes every morning. And it's really about consistency, consistency, consistency. So scheduling your priorities is one of the most important things that you can do in your life. And for this example, you know, we have at 7 a.m. memorized 30 words every single morning. And the fact that I have that on my schedule rather than just something that I've written down and put away in the closet in my room is that whenever I start my day, and everyone has a different way of starting their day. Maybe you have a physical calendar instead of a digital calendar, but I know exactly what I need to do for that day. And this specific time slot is scheduled for me to memorize and spend my time learning these 30 words every single morning. So now I wanna to talk to you guys about the most common words that you can learn. And we talked about how specific this number is, and it's the 92.7% of the language in 66 days. And before we talk about that, the principle that we're, that is underlying this philosophy should be explained a little bit. And in the, uh, we're gonna talk about this man named Wilfredo Pareto, who is an Italian economist, and he came up with this fascinating understanding of what is now called the 80-20 principle, also called the Pareto's Law. And we already realized back in the, uh, I believe the 17th century or the 18th century, he realized that the 20% of the wealthy, and it, this applied to Italy, this applied in the United Kingdom, this applied to Spain, uh, pretty much in all parts of Europe and around the world. And he realized that 20% of the wealthy own 80% of the land. And when he looked into this further, he realized that this doesn't just apply to wealth, but it applies to pretty much everything that we do. And now today, Pareto's Law is one of the most famous things for the productive industries, for anyone that wants to be more productive. This is the foundation that people use. And it says that the, there's only, when you're talking about the end results that we want, that the 20% of time or the task or the energy to the resources that we spend is going to be delivering 80% of the end results that we desire. And really what that means is that 80% of the time that we spend or the energy or the money that we spend is only going to drive 20% of the results. Now, you can look at this in two ways. You can say, Darn it, I probably have wasted 80% of the time that I've expended that has only given me 20% of results. And that's going to happen in any aspect of your life. But what I encourage you guys listening to this today is to look at your life and say, okay, how can I spend the 20% of my time, energy, investments, resources, moving forward, starting from today, that's going to drive 80% of the results. And the more we can identify and take a look back on the few vital tasks that's going to make a real impact in our lives, the greater the results that we can have in our lives. Because the more, if we can double down on the 20% of the time or the resources that's driving 80% of the results, then this is going to be a multiplying effect. And the 20 principle, uh, 2080 principle applies to everything in our lives. You know, one example is the way we spend our money. 
for most of us, housing, transportation, food is going to be the 80% of expenditures that is going to be 20% of the things that we're allocating our budgets to. For your business, 20% of your customers are going to drive 80% of your sales. 20% of your happiness is 20% of the people in your lives is going to bring 80% of your happiness. So you can pretty much apply this in every aspect of your life. And when we're talking now about language learning, there is a famous, the world's most famous respected linguist, Professor Alexander has identified this fascinating notion. He said that the 2,000 most frequent words constitute pretty much everything that we want to say in a language. And he, when, when someone looked into this, they've realized that 2,000 of the most frequently used words will familiarize yourself with 92.7% of vocabulary in the oral speech. And this is where the Pareto's law comes in. So we have 2,000 of the most frequently used words, which is going to give you 92.7% of the oral speech in a language. And then we have 3,000 words where they've studied. If you memorize 3,000 words, that, that's 1,000 more words, which is a lot of words. That's going to give you only 94% of the vocabulary in the oral speech. Now, if you look at this and you look at the, uh, the trajectory when we're adding 1,000 more words from 2,000 to 3,000, that's only giving us a 1.3% of additional increase. And it's not a lot if you think about it. So really what they have come to is that there's a plateauing effect when you're talking about learning uh, a new language. And the key is they've realized that 2,000 is that magic number. And we're going to reverse engineer how you can actually do that. And the key is that the way you can fit this into your schedule is that you simply learn 30 words a day every weekday. So you can take a break on the weekends. You don't have to spend your Saturdays or your Sundays where that's really time for your family. So when you're learning it on every weekday, that comes to about 22 days per month. And that rounds up to 1,980 words learned in 66 days. So in just about two months, uh, you can familiarize yourself, or I guess two and a half months, you can familiarize yourself with 92.7% of the spoken language. So challenge number three for you guys is look up the most common words in your target language and find a free time in your schedule every day to memorize 30 words a day. All right, number four, we're gonna talk about how you can hack grammar. And grammar is recognized as one of those complicated ways to, to learn something. And really what grammar does is it does three things. It adds words, it changes existing words from let's say I eat it, to I ate it. Number three, it changes the order of those words. This is nice to is this nice. And the eight golden sentences is one of the most foundation sentences. Uh, it starts out with the most foundation sentences. And you've probably even heard of this before. It's the I give John the apple. And we're going to give this example in Spanish for the sake of our, uh, for the sake of our own understanding. And the way you do this is that you lay out these eight golden sentences that you see here. And these are the eight golden sentences because they cover pretty much every sentence structure, grammar, pronoun, verb uh, structure that you can imagine you used in any language. So in this example, we have directly translated the Spanish term from the English term and when you take a look at this, you can see the significant differences uh, between the grammars of these two languages. And this is pretty much all you need to know. Once you can memorize the differences between these eight golden sentences and the difference between the English and the Spanish, this is going to give you a more basic foundation of grammar than you can learn 
you know, within a few months of spending in a language school. So challenge number four for you guys is write down these eight golden sentences on one side of the paper, translate it in your target language, and then use it as a reference to analyze the difference of sentence structures. And some of you guys can ask your right coaches to do this for you if you're not sure how to translate this fully. All right, number five, we're going to talk about immersion and how you can remember 90% of everything you learn. Now, if you guys grew up learning how to ride a bike or think back to how you learn how to swim, chances are you didn't have this magic formula where you were, you know, you, you got a textbook from a library or used a video that you found on YouTube or downloaded an app that's going to teach you how to ride a bike or how to swim. No, I mean, you went out there and just did it, right? You learned it by doing. And language learning is no different whatsoever. And the power of immersion is, is known to be incredibly powerful. Uh, Georgetown University Medical Center have found that between two groups, the one that was immersed in a language portrayed brain patterns of a native speaker after just five months, where most of the subjects were adults. That means that by being fully immersed in uh, you know, specific, and this is specifically talking about languages, which is great relevance, that by being surrounded by native speakers that are able to have a conversation with you, the physical patterns of our brain was actually molded into a native speaking person. That's incredible in just five months. So I'm going to share some quick, easy tips that you can immerse yourself without even leaving your house. So number one, you know, the, this is one of the main things that we recommend for our, our RIPE students. It's take the major furniture or the items in your house that you use the most often. Maybe it's a book. Maybe it's your computer. Maybe it's, you know, the things in your kitchen or the mirror or the toilet. And take out the uh, sticky note and translate it in the target language that you want to learn. And what the beauty of that is that you only need to do this once. And because you're going to be walking around your house uh, quite often, you're going to be seeing the signs that are happening all over your house throughout the day, literally 24-7. Uh, and you're going to be able to mold these, uh, these, uh, these vocabularies and these words into your mind than simply just listening and reading into this because you're going to be fully immersed into it. And it's one of the easiest and simplest ways to immerse yourself because you only need to do it once and then let your own imagination uh, you know, take, take over. Two is if you guys love Netflix just like I do and watching movies online or even YouTube videos, you can always find these, uh, these movies or shows where they have Spanish subtitles, or what I personally recommend is to reverse that and to use English subtitles with Spanish audio because what that's going to help you do is that you can recognize the patterns of the Spanish accents and the patterns of the way they speak where you can really understand uh, how to recognize the, the speed and the accents and the nuances of the foreign language. And then last but not least, what I also recommend is to keep a dial, you know, jur journal of what's happening throughout your life. And some of you guys already have a diary or journal that you guys write on. This doesn't have to be on a daily basis, but once in a while, this is a great way for you to write down your thoughts in the language that you want to learn. And this is really going to help you out. So, you know, we shared this study with you how 90% of everything that you learn can be uh, immediately remember when you use it through immersion and this is 100% true so I hope those of you guys just tuning this back into right now those of you guys that haven't left a comment yet please do you know write write something down below where you know you maybe you've learned something or write down the goals or any of the challenges the four challenges that we've already written down for you you know stay with us because that's what's gonna help you retain you know 
all this information. And the result is that compared to the traditional methods of how 99% of us learned, you have the opportunity to learn 18 times faster. Benny Lewis, who many of you guys may have heard of, he's the founder of the number one language block in the world, fluent in three months, where he's spoken, uh, he's trying to learn dozens of languages and reach fluency in, I believe, like seven or eight languages. And he says that the only way he's been able to reach spoken fluency quickly is to get a hell of a lot of spoken practice. Now, this is pretty much the icon of uh, language learners. And he's tried every type of method out there. And he's come to the realization that speaking practice is the best way to reach spoken fluency. Now, last but not least, guys, the final method, what Kobe Bryant and Bill Clinton have in common. Now, probably a lot of you guys have imagined all of these different things, but, but really, the one thing that Kobe Bryant and Bill Clinton have in common that has been able to take them from where they started to where they are today, which is the icons of the world, the top leaders around the world, is coaching. Now, there's a famous African proverb that says, if you want to go fast, go alone. But if you want to go far, go together. You know, anything that we really want to accomplish in our lives, if we want to take it to that next level, if we want to really truly get results, there is no question about it that we can't go at it alone. You can certainly make a little progress, but if you really want to get results, you really have to go together. You need someone that can help you keep accountable, that can help you see the blind spots that you're not able to see and help you understand what you don't know, you don't know. You know, most of us spend our time in what we know, but if we can't understand what we don't know, and this is probably confusing for a lot of you guys, then there is so much opportunity and uh, opportunity that we're leaving on the table. So if you think back in your life and the amazing things that have happened, the things that you've accomplished in your career, your health, your life, your, your relationships, all of these have probably been resulting from interacting with one person, someone that has been able to keep you accountable. You know, Kobe Bryant had Phil Knight, one of the best coaches around the world, to take him from an 18-year-old NBA player that just started to the one of the greatest basketball players of all time. Bill Clinton had Tony Robbins, who is the the you know the number one strategy coach for CEO. He's called the CEO Whisperer, but politicians have all called on Tony to take them through the rough times. And something that you guys can all probably relate to is having a personal trainer if we want to accomplish the goals that we have in our health then we need someone to keep us accountable. You can certainly depend on workout videos. You can certainly depend on you watching YouTube to get fit. But the, look at the people that have gotten real results, the people that you know have gone from 200 pounds to 150 pounds in a matter of month. These guys had real accountability. These guys had people that were helping them throughout the process. And this is what we call the training effect. And they've realized that no matter how great you are, no matter how experienced, no matter, you know, the Kobe Bryant's, the Bill Clinton's, the Tony Robbins of the world, doesn't matter. Whenever we're learning something new, whenever we're trying something for the first time, all of us experience a training curve. And this is an outward and a downward slope. It's kind of like a roller coaster where we go up when we're first starting. We have this amazing high of excitement. It's called the honeymoon phase. And this is really where we're at the top of our game. And then all of a sudden, after months or even days of trying to learn and tackle this, we hit this plateau and a lot of us start to lose confidence and we're confused about what the process is. And we hit a critical point. It's called the crisis mode. And what happens is that if you don't have the accountability, if you don't have someone that can keep you up, that can keep you motivated, whether it's health, whether it's learning a new instrument, whether it's growing a business, or whether it's language learning, then we have either three decisions that we can make. We can either quit, we can have you know acceptance and kind of 
continue to pl plateau where we have an extended crisis mode, or what the greats do, the people that have understood the secret weapon that have resulted in the thousands of the most successful people and what they have in common is finding a coach. It's finding someone that can keep you accountable to help you recover and gain that new confidence in your life. So a coach or mentor, a teacher, someone that can help support you, an accountability partner has been shown to help you receive clarity and focus, accountability and motivation, to accelerate your results, to provide guidance and a plan of action, and most importantly, to reach your full potential. You know, at the end of the day, what we and what my personal mission is, is to help myself and help, help others reach their full potential in their health, in their wealth, in their life, in education. And I think the world would be a better place if we can all reach our full potential because there's so many things that we have yet to accomplish. You know, there's a great story. It's a book called The Navy Seal, I believe, where this uh, this famous entrepreneur and uh, best-selling author now, what he did was he hired a Navy SEAL to come to his house and to spend some time with his family for, uh, for, for a month. And the first exercise that this Navy SEAL took this guy was he said, all right, so you're going to go and do some chin-ups. We're going to go get to your gym. And the author, basically, he did 10 push-ups, uh, 10 chin-ups. And after a while, he just couldn't do anymore. He was a little bit out of shape. And the Navy SEAL said that you have to keep going, you have to keep going, you have to keep going. And he got to this point where he couldn't physically move his arms. And what the Navy SEAL told him was something magical. And he said that when you're at that point of giving up, when you're at that point of telling yourself that you can't give anymore, and you give in internally, that all of us as humans are only at 40% of our full potential at that point. So even at that breaking point where we're ready to give up, we've only given ourselves 40% of our maximum potential to, to reach, that we had 60% of more gas and engine and fuel inside of us that we weren't leveraging, where it's only just a mental block that was, that was uh, preventing us from reaching our goals. So how do you get past that? Well, in terms of language learning, it's finding an accountability partner. And no, some of you guys may go into conversation exchanges. Maybe you have a friend or family member that can keep you accountable when you're learning a language or you know, attending local meetups where you can find people that have a similar interest as you. So that's one way for sure. You could find a professional. You, know, you could always go on Craigslist or try to find a teacher or you can take advantage of what we offer at Ripe, which is handpicked professional coaches, allowing you to learn one-on-one -on -one coaching in your own lifestyle without interrupting your busy schedule, where you can learn at any time, at any day of the week, and anywhere. And these are one-on-one -on -one coaches that can keep you accountable. So it doesn't matter if you, you know, if you, those of you guys that decide not to join Ripe today, I'm not trying to force this upon you, but I'm trying to say, find someone that can keep you accountable. Find the Tony Robbins uh, that Bill Clinton found. Find the Phil Knight that Kobe Bryant had found, or find the personal trainer in your life for whatever you're trying to learn. And this is gonna help you significantly take you to that next level in your life. So what I always ask uh, students of ours that are trying to stumble upon something for the first time is, Ask yourself, what are some of the factors that may lead you to quit? You know, this is what Tim Ferriss, who is the best-selling author of the 4-Hour Workweek, 4-Hour Chef, 4-Hour uh, Body, says that in order for you to keep any habit, you have to first understand the factors that will may lead you to quit. So is it going to be commuting? Is it going to be cost? Is it going to be lack of time for some of you guys? Is it going to be lack of accountability or is it motivation? So you have to really be straight with yourself and see, you know, if you're truly motivated, if you're truly interested in learning a language, what are the factors that may lead you to quit? Not next week, but think about yourself in one year or even a few months from now, 
what are some of the building blocks that's going to keep you from learning a new language so share that in the comments below guys and I want to ask yourself what is the one action step forward that you can take today you know we talked about the 90% rule where we talked about the 5% is only retained if you're simply just watching this lecture right now not taking any action not writing things down or not participating in the Facebook comments below versus 90% 18 times more effective if you're able to take some sort of action if you're able to immerse yourself in some form or another and for some of you guys that might be going up and signing up for a local meetup event uh, for some of you guys that might be reaching out to an accountability partner or finding a, a, a private coach online so what is that one step action forward that you can take forward today and remember we talked about the 80 20 principle where 20 percent of the time the resources the vital tasks that we'll spend in our lives is what is going to result in 80% of the results. And we want to spend as much time, as much energy, and as much dollars doubling down, kind of like going all in, it, like you see at the poker table, on the 20, a few vital tasks and resources and solutions that's going to give you 80% of the results and avoiding everything else that's really trivial tasks. And when it comes to measuring the effectiveness of language learning, studies have shown that 80% of the results that you'll find is through coaching and through immersion versus the most ex expensive products or solutions are what you'll get at the classroom settings or at the programs. And of course, the least effective ones from studies have shown that apps, books, or uh, solutions like YouTube are the least effective and when you're talking about the average time to reach fluency coaching and immersion beats both these when you're combining it this is what 80% of the results from 20% of the input and the solutions so again I'm sharing this research because that is how important it is you have to figure out what is that 2080 principle in your life and what we have done at RIPE is that we have combined these 20% resources, which is real life immersion, talking with native speakers, people that you're actually going to be communicating with, and professional coaching, giving you the accountability, that one on one attention that you need, that you know, Tony Robbins provides, that you know, Bill Clinton has gotten, that Kobe Bryant has gotten, to apply this into language learning and to take you to that next level. And from day zero, from day one, what we have crafted at RIPE has been fundamentally applied to fit into these categories. And every product or every decision that we have made has been focused on helping you get to that level. It's mixing and collaborating real life immersion and professional coaching to help you accelerate your skills in any language. And right now, of course, we're focused on Spanish. And there's no better way to describe it than one of our own students, Claire, who describes RIPE in this fashion. He says, she says that what RIPE offers is so magically simple, yet powerful. And it's really bringing the real life immersive experience of learning a language in a foreign country to your screen. And we've seen the power of immersion. It's why we have students like Hannah, who's a student at UCLA, uh, and she's not only our student, but she's a full-time student, an MBA student at UCLA in Los Angeles, who went from zero knowledge to conversation fluency in Spanish in three months. And I believe it was about three and a half months. So I want to take this short time just to share with you guys what RIPE is, how it works, and I want to give you guys an understanding of exactly what you're going to get when you enter RIPE. So again, RIPE is the first solution in the world to bring unlimited private lessons to the language learning industry. And unlike the other language solutions that you may see online where you have to pay 20 or $30 per each lesson, you get to book as many lessons as you want with a RIPE membership. 
And we, of course, provide all of these additional benefits from our coaching aspect that you won't find online. And booking the lesson takes literally less than 15 seconds. And here's, here's how easy it is to book a lesson with, you, with one of our coaches. So you can, number one, book it by one of your matched coaches. And all you have to do is log into the membership portal, choose a coach that you prefer, and choose a time. Let's say if today is Tuesday, let's say, and we want to pick a time at 1.30. All you have to do now is to enter your information and your lesson is booked. So that's how incredibly simple it is. Now you can also book lessons on demand according to your time availability. And this way you don't have to depend on just one coach, but you can book lessons when you're most free, giving you complete control over your time and ultimate flexibility so you can integrate language learning into your own schedule. So in order to do this, all you have to do is click buy your time availability, choose a time when you're free, and what we'll do is let's say we want our lesson at 8.30 in the morning, we'll automatically assign you to a coach that's available at that specific time. And from here, you can also automatically integrate this into your favorite calendar, so you'll never forget the appointment, and we'll send you a confirmation of your appointment, including several reminders before your lesson starts, where you have the option to either reschedule or cancel the appointment if needed. So you're never obliged to, uh, you know, to switch around your schedule. Now, at the time of your lesson, your coach will personally reach out to you over Skype or Google Hangout, and you'll immediately begin your lesson. Now, if you live your life on the go like most people, you can always take your lessons with you wherever you go. All you have to do is install the Skype or Google Hangout app on your mobile phone or tablet, and you can enjoy your lessons on the go. Now, one of our most popular and, and best benefits about learning with Ripe that no other platform provides is the personalized feedback documents you'll get after each lesson. And what will happen is that after each of your sessions, your coach will manually record the, record the mistakes that you've made with the corrections, the new materials that you've learned, and include follow-up assignments to complete in between your sessions to keep you fully immersed. And this way you'll never make the same mistake again. And of course, last but not least, you can take your learning beyond the private lessons by taking advantage of our premium Spanish classes on demand. And every week will there'll be a new recorded class you can access on demand at any time to accelerate your learning even faster. And we cover anything from grammar to, you know, to real life topics, all of that. Now we had some video testimonials that we wanted to share with you, but unfortunately, given, you know, we're using MacBook on, on Keynote right now, and unfortunately we weren't able to play this to you because well, you can only hear the, the 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 what I'm talking with you right now, which is the the mic that we're speaking under. So now I want to cover the main questions that we get from our Ripe students. So how is Ripe different from language schools or other language learning websites? Well, we've gone over the main basic value adds that Ripe offers that no other platform offers. And the biggest one is that it's unlimited and we have the ability for you to learn anywhere. And I'll give you a specific example when we're talking about the difference between Ripe and let's say language school, which is probably where most of you guys have learned a language or most of you guys and most people around the world are still learning a language. Well, the difference between what Ripe and language schools offer is that unlike a language school, Ripe doesn't have any additional overhead costs, admin staffing costs, insurance costs, or even building costs. And what you're able to get is more value for one-tenth of the price. And the time save that you'll get versus going to a language school at Ripe is unparamount. And the when you're looking at the teacher-to-student ratio uh, that you'll get at a language school is that 
most likely you'll be surrounded by anywhere from 10 uh, to 15 different students that you'll get. And what that means is that you're really getting one tenth of the attention that you deserve. And as they say is that you, the progress at which you learn is only as fast as your slowest student. And what that means is that you're really bounded by the progress of the other students around you. And sometimes their students are much faster than you, or sometimes the students are much slower than you. And that means that you have to really mod uh, be modified of your learning speed for that level. And this is the reason why people always ask, do you have some sort of a curriculum at RIPE? And we always say no, because our, we've grown up to specifically demand some sort of a curriculum that's a one size fits all, expecting this to fit the needs of all of the students around. You know, when you have 15, 20 different students and you have one curriculum, chances are that 90% of the students are not going to uh, be customized to that level. So every student, every every person in the world learns differently. Everyone has different goals. Everyone has their own weaknesses. And everyone has different experiences that they come through when they join a language program. And what we have strived to do at RIPE is to give you that one-on-one -on -one attention that you need to, number one, learn upfront what your goals are and what it is that you're trying to achieve and then customize and tailor your lesson plan according to what your needs are. So you get 100% attention for what it is that you want to achieve. So when we're talking straight about value, just to put this in numbers to help you guys understand, if, if a language school was to provide the same value that RIPE offers, it would be about 10 times more than the cost of a RIPE membership from the one-on-one -on -one, uh, in-person sessions feedback documents the uh, free trial session 24 access everything combined you're getting one tenth uh investment for 10 times the value this is why you know students of ours james says that instead of going to language school and paying over a thousand dollars he can receive private one-on-one -on -one lessons for tenth of that price how will I be billed? Well, you'll be billed on a monthly basis after your trial ends. And I should mention that all of you guys listening today have the opportunity to try it out for free. You get free 14 day access, no risk. You're not gonna be charged at all within those 14 days. And if you did decide to continue, you'll be billed on a monthly basis moving forward. If you want to pause, uh, first of all, congratulations. I think everyone deserves a vacation or some time off to really, you know, reconnect with yourself or to disconnect from the rest of the world. And if you ever want to pause or hold your account, all you have to do is just let us know and we'll pause your account or extend it for when you want to come back. The fourth question is, why do you ask for my billing information? And to be honest, we've tested both. And what we have realized is that when people are putting in some sort of commitment or information, they're much more motivated to take advantage of the free trial that we have and to make the most of their experience. And ultimately, what we want to provide is not necessarily to you know, further our goals or to help students feel more easy when they're trying to sign up. All we care about is getting students results. It's getting you end results. And if we're seeing that by entering some information up front is going to help you get that results, then that's going to be the number one decision maker for our product and for us moving forward is because really all we're about is helping you get real results. Now to wrap it up, the last question is, you know, we get this a lot is I'm not really sure if I'm ready yet. You know, what should I do? And if you think about any big decision that you made, right? It could be your first house. It could be that new job that you had. It could be that first date. Well, chances are that all of us had these butterflies that were running through our minds, you know, through our stomachs. And we all had these excitement. Our heart were beating faster. We were feeling that we were kind of taking this leap forward, you know, from where we are today to where we are going to be in the next you know, few weeks, next few days, next few months. And it was this leap and it was scary, you know, it was fearful. And 
we all have this and you should realize that if you look back at all of those moments, all of those moments where you felt a little scared, where you felt a little uh, afraid and even excited, you'd have this mixed emotions. That's to me at least, that's when I've had the biggest breakthroughs. That's when I can really look back in my life and say, wow, those are amazing decisions. You know, I made that decision to fly to South America at whims and I was scared out of my life, but it, to this day, it has been one of the most experienced and eventful uh, opportunities that I've ever had. And the same goes with language learning, you know, taking that deep leap into learning a language, that's a huge decision. And I don't question that at all, but you should feel this sense of excitement, that sense of fear, that sense of hesitation almost, because if you look back, those were probably the best moments of your life and the biggest breakthroughs in your life. And ultimately, you have to look at the, you have to make all of our decisions by the benefits that we get. It's not about the, it's not about the, uh, you know, the opportunity at hand. It's about what's going to happen once we can get through this hell. And as we mentioned before, the top five benefits, it's, you know, do you want to improve the career and take advantage of the globalization that we have in front of us? and come in early at the early stages of this blowout and be able to improve your career, improve your wage, and to be more marketable so you can have that more bigger freedom in your life at the end of the day where you know you can spend the time with your family or your friends or the things that you love. It could be mental health. Now, a lot of you guys probably aren't 70 years old, but it's always good to improve your mental health and to improve your agility, your mental strength, and to increase your focus in, in whatever you do. Maybe it's to deepen your relationships, just like myself, it's to, you know, for me, it's connecting with my family members that were speaking in Korean. For some of you guys, it might be in Spanish, where you've maybe, you know, we spoke with all these people that have married partners that live in Argentina or Colombia, and they have family members that, you know, they're not just able to deepen that relationship yet. Or maybe it's to have a completely different experience traveling around the world and be able to uh, experience uh, something that you've never had before. And then last but not least, it could be to increase your own confidence. It could be to gain an understanding of the world that you never could have and to be able to communicate with people that people around you don't have that same capability and that could be your own advantage. And studies have shown that when you can speak another language, your own language skills become improved. So if English is your only language right now, your English skills have shown to improve if you can speak another language. So here are some testimonials from our own students that have great success. And we have hundreds of these, but I want to give you, of course, some time to, uh, to because this is a busy time of your day. So Tamara says, to be honest, it seemed almost too good to be true when my friend first told me he was using RIPE. After just 30 days of joining, I can't imagine learning a language any other way. And again, as I shared before, we had these video testimonials, but we weren't able to show this because the only sound you can hear is from my own mic. But what Greg says is that ultimately what's great about using RIPE is that it's incredibly immersive and I can feel myself improving after each lesson. But most importantly, and a lot of you guys can probably resonate with this, it fits right into my lifestyle, no matter how busy I am during the week. Bob from Washington, D.C. says that I've tried just about every language method you can imagine from Duolingo, Rosetta Stone, italki, and none of them worked. As a 55-year-old, learning a language didn't come easy. If I can do it, so can you. Now, I want to emphasize this last point because all of us, probably the biggest barriers that we've talked about that all of us have in our own heads is I'm too old. And this is a, a profound thing. This is one of our favorite testimonials from Bob because that is one of our biggest barriers that we're too old to learn a language. And this is one of the biggest stops that people have. And as you see here, Bob is a 55-year-old adult, and what he has realized and what we have realized is that the reason why most of us struggle to learn a language later on is not because of our inherent talents or the fact that we're too old. It's really the method. You know, if you, if you think about how you learned your first language, 
whether it's English, Chinese, uh, Spanish, or, or any other language that you've spoken when you first grew up, is that you spoke it by speaking with your friend, your family, your friend, your mom, your dad, and you were fully immersed into that language. You know, you didn't use YouTube videos or mobile apps to learn your first language. Yet, all of us have now been taught to learn and adapt these technologies and adapt these, you know, algorithms of, of learning a language, which clearly is not effective because that's not the way we originally learned our first language. So the way we should be learning is to communicate with other people, is to learn it with other native speakers that uh, allow us to mold our brains into a native speaking individual. So age has nothing to do with your inability to speak the language. It's really the method. And the last testimony that we have is from Jennifer who says that she just didn't have the time or patience with her fast paced career. She's a lawyer uh, to try to find a language partner. You guys make it possible for me to learn another language in my own time when I want. Now, guys, we have hundreds of testimonies for the, for, for the sake of our time. Uh, those were the highlights that I wanted to share with you. And one, last importantly, uh, before we give away the, the free gift, is we have a giving back project. It's called our one-to-one -one project. And we shared with you that our mission is to spread education far and wide as much as we can. And our giving back project is something that we started with an organization called Pencils of Promise that built over 400 schools around the world in Nicaragua, Laos, and um, uh, Nicaragua, Laos, and uh, there was one more in Guatemala. And what we have done is we have partnered up with them to provide 1% of our earnings and 1% of our time every year to give back and to build schools for children in need to help spread education. So for those of you guys that have committed to joining us today, you should know that you are contributing. You are helping educate students and children around the world through this giving back project that we have. So you should know that you're doing good in the world by uh, learning and investing in your own self. So. My last question to you guys is, are you ready to start your language learning journey where you'll get unlimited learning, have the ability to try it out for free, get customized lesson experience, and a full access library to uh, recorded online Spanish classes and much more. Now, to close it off, as I said before, I do want to give you guys the free gift that we have promised, but I should let you know that this is a special limited time offer that's going to expire today. So those of you guys that are here live with us right now have the opportunity to take advantage of this special offer. And it's something that is not going to be around. So what we're offering is the opportunity to get 50% off your first month. And that's $40 off using the promo code GIFT2016. And here is where this is really special. If you guys if you guys uh, go to our normal membership plans, that's writeapp.com slash plans, you'll notice we don't even have a promo code section there. So the offer that we're getting you is, is really the limited time offer that we're going to be providing for today. And you'll see that it's it's a completely different uh, page where the promo code option doesn't even exist. And the reason why is that because we're changing our membership plans, we're increasing the pricing. So this is the lowest price that you'll have to join Ripe today. And we're offering this for you guys to take the time out of your busy day to join us today. And you have the opportunity to, number one, try out for Ripe completely for free. There's no risk whatsoever for you to uh, have your free lessons and to actually experience Ripe for yourself and have the opportunity if you do decide to continue with us to get 50% off your first month uh, when you first join. So go to ripeapp.com slash FB dash special. That's ripeapp.com slash FB dash special 
and take advantage of the offer that we have today guys you guys can get in for completely free and this is your opportunity to to take when you guys have the opportunity to 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 come in and join us and try it out for free so come join us if you guys have any questions whatsoever feel free to email us at help at writeapp.com and we're here to serve you guys at whatever helms possible so thank you guys so much for tuning in today i really appreciate for those of you guys that have managed to stay on all the way to this point there are so many things that you guys could have done to this day but for those of you guys that have made this you know 90 minutes it's been a really special time and i really tr treasure this and i'm going to try to respond to all the comments that you guys have shared below in the facebook comments and feel free to go ahead and and, and encourage uh, others around you to to learn a language and even share this presentation. I know this is a live presentation, but I encourage you to take the notes that you have learned today and share this out and and really share this gift to other people because there is no better gift than to spread education worldwide. And for those of you guys, I see a lot of you guys joining in us today. We got John, we have Eric, uh, we have Cynthia from Washington, uh, we've got Jennifer from Chicago. <laughs> Who else do we have here? We have Jenny from California. Uh, we have Ben Norowitz from Denmark. Wow. Uh, we've got Wendy from Los Angeles. Uh, we've got Caroline, Caroline S. There's no last name here from, from New York. Okay. Very cool. Welcome, welcome. Um, We've got Jerome from New York again. We've got Gary from New Jersey. So there's a lot of you guys coming right now. Um, and I really, really appreciate you guys because you guys are really helping spread education worldwide just by investing in your guys' self. So I want to wrap this up presentation by sharing my gratitude, by helping, uh, you know, really sharing my appreciation for you guys to spend your busy time and if there's any questions that we can answer for you please let us know and we're gonna do everything that we can to support you and we really hope that you guys uh, whatever whether you guys decide to join right or not we hope you guys take some sort of action today whether it's finding an accountability partner or finding your own way to learn a language and and for those of you guys that do have joined right from the from the dozens of people that I see right now, you know we're going to be setting up a personal onboarding call from you. There's a there's a, a personal consultant that's going to be reaching out to you right now, who is going to set up that one-on-one -on -one call for you to help understand your goals, to help understand what your needs are, and then she's going to help or he's going to help customize your lesson plan moving forward. So you can know that for those of you guys that have joined us that you're in good hands and that you're really helping spread education uh, worldwide. So I'm super excited, those of you guys that have joined us, and you'll be accessing your membership area where you can start booking as many lessons as you want to accelerate your Spanish skills and to really experience the power of the combination between real life immersion and professional coaching. So I'm super excited. I wasn't able to name all of you guys that have decided to join us today and started your free trial. And I encourage those of you guys that are listening right now, it's not too late to, to take some sort of action today. And thank you guys so much for tuning in again. I'm going to be stopping the broadcast right now. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the future and hopefully inside of our community. So have a great day, guys. And I wish you the, the best of luck in everything that you do. Much loves. Thank you.